Now to that new case testing the stand your ground law in Florida. An Uber driver fatally shooting a man who you see here on camera threaten him. ABC Steve Okasami is in Atlanta this morning and Steve police are not charging the shooter. No, not at this point, Michael. In fact, they say that this is a case where the stand your ground law is working as intended. They say that the man who was killed picked a fight with the wrong Uber driver. It's the dashboard video Florida police say shows a textbook stand your ground case, what they say the law was meant for. Uber driver Robert Westlake is in the middle of a fair when for some reason this pickup truck starts tailing him and then pulls in front of him, forcing him to stop. The man who jumps out is 34 year old Jason Boak, who police say is in the middle of a fight with his girlfriend and thinks she's in the back seat of this Uber. But police say the girlfriend was still at this bar in Dundee where the two were fighting and the young woman getting a ride as a stranger. It happens quickly. You see Boak threaten the driver with what police say appears to be a gun but isn't. The driver, who happens to be a recent police academy graduate and was carrying a firearm, shoots him dead and calls police. He ran me off road, jumped out of his vehicle. I couldn't get away. He came towards me, shouted he's got a pistol, reached for his waistband. Uh, I fired one shot for my pistol. Um, he dropped the cell phone. This is a classic stand your ground case. The driver is a free man this morning. Police say the shooting was justified, saying that the man who was killed shared his criminal intent when he sent these texts to his girlfriend, who he thought was in the car, promising to find her and beat up her Uber driver. Here's a message for the hotheads of the community. Don't do that stuff. Good people carry guns, and they will shoot you a lot. Graveyard dead. Leave people alone. It's a new day in the state of Florida and in the United States. Prosecutors are reviewing this case as they always do when a person is killed. Police say that the shooting victim is no stranger to them. He has a long criminal record and was on probation for battery at the time of the shooting. Michael. All right, Steve, what a message from the sheriff there. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.